We're going to get into some geoengineering stuff. So back in 2013, David Keith was on uh, the Colbert Report. This is before Colbert ran the Late Show that took over for David Letterman and before he became a weasel and uh, a Trump-hating crazy man. But he makes some damn good points on here. I, I, I cut sections up out of this. So basically this David Keith guy wants to spray sulfuric acid, sulfuric acid in the atmosphere and coat it, and this will reflect the sunlight out. And, uh, well, they've been spraying aluminum, all that stuff right now because people have been testing it and finding out that it's there, and these are the ones that linger in the sky. I've talked about them before on the show. But let's, let's play this clip and uh, listen in because this, this is, like I said, this is before uh, Colbert was a weasel <laughs> that he is now. They make some damn good points. How will we save the planet? Because all the people, all the chicken littles out there are saying the planet is warming up. You don't believe that, do you? I totally believe it. It is warming up. And I've been thinking about, along with many other people, ways to stop it. It is that you could actually spray sulfuric acid in the stratosphere, 20 kilometers over our head, and use that to stop the planet warming up. And a okay, kind wait, of ugly you, you, tech fix. You can, you can spray something into the atmosphere to yes. change. Okay, okay. Spray pollution uh -huh. into the atmosphere to stop it warming. It would have risks. It wouldn't get us out of the long run need to stop polluting, but it might actually save people and be useful. You'd put, say, 20,000 tons of sulfuric acid uh -huh. into the stratosphere every year uh -huh. and each year you have to put a little more mm -hmm. and this doesn't in the long run mean that you can forget about cutting emissions we will uh -huh. need to rein in no emissions. we'll get to it eventually yeah. but it, uh so right there crazy just getting the conversation they were they were spraying well before 2013 believe me getting the conversation so they can start acclimating people to this and what's going on done by design folks in the meantime, we're shrouding the earth in sulfuric acid. So people are terrified about talking about this because uh -huh. they're scared that it will prevent us cutting emissions. Right, and also that it's sulfuric acid. <laughs> it is. You're bearing the lead. Is there any possible way this could come back to bite us in the ass? <laughs> we put 50 oh, yeah. million tons of sulfuric acid in the air now as pollution, and it okay. kills a million people a year worldwide. Okay, and that's and so good or bad? It's terrible. <laughs> But it'll be checking. better if we put more in. We're talking about 1% of that, a tiny fraction of that. So we should reduce that sulfuric acid pollution. So if it pollution, kills a million people and we're only bad. doing 1% more, we're just killing 10,000 more people. You can do math. What? See, see what he did there? He's just kind of, without, without Keith saying it, he's basically saying that it's okay to kill more people. And that Colbert kind of called him out on that. And like I said, this is before Colbert, Colbert was a weasel like he is today. Um, yeah, it is what it is. And it's, oh, it's just a little more, not that big deal. Just get the public acclimated to this stuff. ...to the sulfuric acid after it's sprayed. Does it just stay up there? No, it rains down. Okay. But, it, but as I said, <laughs> it rains down. Okay, okay. It's a tiny addition to okay. what we're already doing. It's happening was... already. You ever look at those planes up there? They have contrails behind them. Maybe all those planes are the contrails. Maybe they're actually spraying chemicals into the atmosphere right now, and Uncle Sam isn't telling us. Seems mm. extremely unlikely. The that fact the United the government... States is not telling something to its citizens, that seems extremely likely to me. Read the newspaper. I think they might have your idea already. Good job, Colbert. Before you sold out, love it. That was good. That was real good. I think they do have his idea, and he's, it's all part of this acclimation process to get the public ready so when they do drop the hammer and say, oh, because now I think there's too much backlash, to be honest, about the chemtrails. Everybody looks up and sees them, and they linger there. People have done studies on it, how bad it is for you. So they're just probably going to keep the whole damn thing quiet. Of, all, of course, all in the name to fight global warming, of course. And we got natural news here. Global warming data faked by government to fit climate change Fictions. This is like, you know, some people might not believe in the global warming. I think, I think it's happening, not necessarily global warming, the climate change. All the planets are changing. This is interplanetary climate change. Now, what's causing that? We're on a freaking in space, hurtling through space. We're not in the same spot in space we've been. We don't know what's out there. We could be going through this other belt of different frequency, radiation, whatever you want to call it. 
that's altering all the planets. They don't want to concentrate on other planets changing their uh, their atmospheres, the habitats. You know, they were saying that ice is on Mars, and they never said ice was on there before. Slowly, they say stuff like that, but they didn't, they're not going to link it to the climate change thing because it, it affects the narrative. My thing is, you know, like it or hate it, let's just move on, bring out the technologies and say, okay, we don't have to be using fossil fuels. Let's bring out the free energies. The, uh, you know, they got the TR3Bs and stuff. These ain't the full anti-gravity things, if you will, but they're, they're a step in the right direction. And that's where we need to go. Instead, it's like, oh, let's just ignore it and let's tax everybody. And what that's going to do is restrict travel, bring the prices of good, goods up. It's like, I hate it when people think that there's no issue with charging a carbon tax. You do that, everything's going to go up. It's going to restrict travel. And then here on Natural News, we got some graphs in a minute I'll show, but it says, now in what might be the largest scientific fraud ever uncovered, NASA and NOAA have been caught red-handed altering historical temperature data to produce a climate change narrative that defies reality. By the way, folks, there's also scientists who are on the other side of the spectrum saying that this is manufactured stuff and that this whole climate change debate is ridiculous. Again, it's not that it isn't happening, it is, but it's happening in our whole solar system. Don't look at that, just look here on Earth. Okay. So here's the proof of the climate change fraud. Here's the chart of U.S. temperatures published by NASA in 1999. It shows the highest temperatures actually occurred in the 1930s, followed by a cooling trend ramping downward to the year 2000. So we got 1930s here. We basically got plus 1.5 at that time. And then it went down quite a bit. We're basically at 1 here in about the 19, what is that, 45? And then year 2000, it climbed back up a little bit, and we're hitting about 0.9. So that's the actual temperatures that were there. And then they altered that. NASA managed to misleadingly distort the chart to depict the appearance of global warming. So on this chart here, again, we look back at the 1930s. Uh, so let me start, let me just read this paragraph. This new chart, altered, uh, altered chart shows the historical data, especially the severe heat and drought experienced in the 1930s are now systematically suppressed to make them appear cooler than they really were. At the same time, temperature data from the 1970s to 2010 are strongly exaggerated to make them appear warmer than they really were. This is a clear case of scientific fraud being carried out on a grand scale in order to deceive the entire world about global warming. What's even more interesting is that even the EPA's heat wave index further support the notion that the U.S. was far hotter in the 1930s than it is today. Again, people don't want to talk about the environment itself affecting what happens. Volcanoes give off massive CO2 when they erupt, more than anybody on the planet. Oh, that's different. It's natural, blah, 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 blah. You're listening to natural news from Mike Adams. That's fake news, blah, 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 blah. And it never ends. You got to take what we can get. Try to wake people up. A lot of people ain't going to get this stuff. I know it's a little complicated for some people. But uh, it is what it is. Oh, Terry in the chat says, in, Antar in Antarctica, the hidden pyramids are being exposed for a reason. So global warming is being blamed. Trump doesn't support global warming either. And I trust our president. I think he knows that it is a false farce. I mean, obviously there's stuff changing, especially when you get pyramids. My thing is like, we go through seasons and stuff. Of course, the temperature changes and rises. It's going to be different. It's like people think, oh, it's got to be this exact same thing. Otherwise, it's not right. And they, I think they brainwash people to the point where it's like if you got a warm day, like we had a nice 70 degrees here in Wisconsin yesterday. It's only down to like 62 right now. You know, typically it's 30, but it's going to hit 30 again this Wednesday for a high. So, oh, that's because your environment's getting infected. Well, we're going through change. Oh, I don't know. You can argue all day about it with some of these people. It just never ends. 
but they it's one of those things believe what you want to believe we'll go our way we know what's right and we'll we'll inform you the best you can if you ask but we're not going to shove it down your throat either because we know that that doesn't wake people up as well neo or geo neo 9 as they have created carbon absorbing trees technology so yeah i mean there's all kinds of technology they got advanced technologies to clean the oceans and stuff they just got to start implementing this stuff